Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from What's Good Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And the goal of my YouTube channel is to help you to create a home cooking system that will allow you to cook on a regular basis as part of your daily routines. Home cooking has never been more important as an alternative to fast and processed food. A through home cooking, you can cook with all fresh ingredients and you know exactly what you put into your body. However, home cooking has two challenges. The first being that most of us do not have time to cook. It is hard for us to find one to two hours each day and to set aside for home cooking. And the second challenge is that can we make our food taste as good as commercially prepared food? My fast cooking system is the solution to these two challenges. The word FAST is the acronym of the four attributes of this cooking system, which is flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking. A stir frying is the heart of the cooking system. It is efficient, flexible, and it is unmatched by any other cooking systems. There are three factors contributing to the efficiency of stir frying. The first is the amount of heat that you can apply during stir frying. And secondly, is that the ingredients is prepared to the optimum size for cooking. And third, by constantly stirring the content, the food ingredients can be cooked rapidly and evenly. So consequently, most of the dishes could be cooked somewhere between 5 to 10 minutes. And that is not bad at all. However, uh, when it is in the hand of professionals, this is an entirely different story. Uh, for a better understanding of the potential of stir-frying, I have posted two videos on the mechanism of stir-frying. Uh, the first one is about heat management, that you can apply as much heat as you want, but still going to have a good outcome. In the second video, I discussed the importance of mixing the contents in the wok during stir-frying. In this video, I'm going to use some video clips to demonstrate how professional cooks manage these two aspects. If you would like to see the original video where these clips come from, you can click the info icon on the top right hand corner of the screen. The first dish that I'm going to show you here is a shrimp dish with a sweet and sour sauce topped with scallion and chili pepper. The chef used a whole shrimp with the head and he split it at the middle and to provide it with some stuffing. Here he used the wok as a deep fryer and he used a large sieve almost the size of the wok. And here uh, the burners is in full blast and this keeps the oil temperature as hot as possible. The shrimp here are being fried literally in a matter of seconds and turn it into bright prank. And with his large sieve, the chef is able to scoop the shrimp out of the wok almost instantly. The chef is then using the same wok to make the sauce by starting out with some chili oil and also some hot chili pepper. This is followed by a sweet and sour sauce that he concocted beforehand. He then used his ladle to bring over some minced garlic. This is followed by some water and cornstarch to make the sauce. And next, he added the shrimp to the wok. And now he had his burner in full blast to concentrate the sauce. And this will also allow him to finish cooking the shrimp to the doneness that he wants. And now he turned on the burner and he's going to arrange the shrimp for the best presentation. The chef will make adjustment to the burner to the effect that what he wants. He will turn them down if he wants the ingredients just at a low simmer. So for the final step, he garnish the shrimp with some scallions. Now he turned the burner back to high uh, to finish the final stage of the cooking. Uh, here's a good example that how he used the different heat capacity of the stove 
and making adjustment to achieve exactly what he want the outcome of the dish going to be. And without any question, this is artistry. And the second dish is a stir fry oyster dish that served on a hot plate with a sunny side up egg. And the first thing the chef did, he blanched the oysters in hot water and he used the wok to boil the water. And he has the burner in full blast and this takes only a matter of seconds. And he used his metal sieve to remove the oyster from the wok. And for the sauce, he first sauteed some onion and garlic and he add the oyster back to the wok. And then he used his ladle to scoop up whatever sauces that he needs to season the dish. And the ladle for professional cook is a preferred tool for stir frying and you can see the reason why. He garnished the dish with scallions and at this point he had his burner in full power. He add some cornstarch to thicken the sauce. And next he is going to prepare his hot plate. He turned his burner to full power and it takes a matter of seconds to heat up the hot plate. And next he coats the hot plate with some butter to provide some extra flavor to the dish. He then crack an egg onto the hot plate, uh, which is so hot that the egg almost fry immediately. And now the dish is done. As you can see that he used the wok for many different functions. Also a single burner served all different purposes. The first video clip I'm going to show you uh, is a egg dish which is almost like a scrambled egg, but it is more really like an egg pancake. This dish demonstrates the versatility of the wok as well as the ingenuity of the chef. This is an egg dish that cooked with basils. It is a very simple dish, quick to cook and is perfect for cooking it in the wok. Uh, here the chef makes sure that the wok is well coated with oil and also he let the oil to smoke a little bit to create a non-stick cooked surface because he does not want the egg to stick to the surface of the wok. Uh, instead of scrambling the egg, he used a pair of chopsticks to mix the egg in the middle uh, to make sure all the eggs are being cooked evenly. Uh, he then used his ladle uh, to move the uncooked egg in the center to the edge of the egg. So this way the egg will be cooked in a thin even layer over the entire surface. A really simple but effective technique. Uh, he now tossed the egg in the air and to flip it over to have it cooked on the other side of the egg. As you can tell his wok must be quite light otherwise he would not be able to do this at all. Also, he has turned his burner to low, so he would not either overcook or burn the egg. And this is a good example of heat management, because he only used the level of heat that he wants, depending on what he was cooking. And the last dish that I would like to show you is a shredded pork dish with a miso sauce. And this is an excellent demonstration of advanced prepping. The first thing the chef did is that he make the sauce and he used some miso sauce and then he add pork directly to the sauce and the pork has already been cooked. All he need to do in cooking this dish is to create a sauce and mix the pork together with the sauce. And the dish is done. Uh, this is a good example of tempeh based cooking uh, because he can create this dish by using different types of sauces. Uh, by having the pork cook in advance, he is quick to cook many different versions of this basic dish. Uh, so the question you might have is that, is it possible for me to cook like this? And the answer is obviously no, uh, because you don't have the same equipment. But this doesn't mean that you can not cook dish with same type of quality and the type of flavor that you enjoy. 
and with my fast cooking system, there is no reason that you could not achieve the same goal and to have the same benefit of the healthy outcome of your dishes. In fact, it is going to be even better because you can create exactly the flavor how you like it. I post a video each day to help you to achieve this home cooking objective、uh, using my fast cooking system. If you'd like to learn more about this cooking system,、uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.